and welcome to a life full of meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we make a weekly vlog. Where we document our search for more meaningful life. So without further ado, let's show you how the week unfolded. Good morning and welcome to Saturday. We're on a road trip, yeah. We are off to Devon to Brixham, to the caravan. We're opening the caravan up for the season and we are very, very excited. It seems like it's been such a long winter. It's just gone 9.30. It'll be about four and a half hours till we get there. So come on, let's get this journey underway. We did stop for a cheeky McDonald's. Yes, we did. So we're now caffeinated. We've got a new Jack Reacher book to listen to. Well, we're not that far from Bristol. And there's been snow here. Yeah, the verges are still white. I don't know when it snowed. I don't know how much it snowed. But it's surprising to see it's actually snowing now this is very very unexpected so we've been on the road about two and a half hours it stopped snowing i've just seen some baby lambs in the field the first of this year so our first stop before we get to the caravan is going to be sainsbury's we're going to get some food because we have to drive past it to get to the caravan, so no. it makes sense to there stop there. Nothing on the caravan. No, we emptied the caravan before we left in November, so we know that is empty. So let's go get some delicious food. We've come out and it's pouring with rain. We got fuel, we got food. Oh, Brixham, we have missed you. Not far now. The sun's come out, the sky's blue. Here we are. There's a new manager on the site this year and a new salesperson. We've just caught a glimpse of our caravan. It's green. Need to wash, Mr. Warner. I've got all the gear. Lots of cars, lots of people. Badger update. No more dramas. Let us get in. Oh, it seems like so long. Okay. Oh, hello caravan. Oh, We've missed you. We've missed you. Yeah, everything's looking fine. Let's put the caravan back together. Let's get some heat on. We're here. We have arrived and it's sunny. It's beautiful and it's so great to be here. My plant survived. I am so happy about that. I didn't know whether they'd make it, but they have. And I'd say they've, they've thrived as well. Just look at the difference in the weather. It seems so bizarre that we drove through snow to get it. So we're planning on going to bingo later. And before we go, I'm going to make something delicious. Now, I haven't got all the ingredients here, so I'm going to wing it. I've got some red onions, some pepper and some parsley. And there's a garlic clove in there somewhere. In here, I've got some lovely organic lamb and some tomato paste. And I'm going to throw in some rose harissa paste. I've not used this before, so I'm excited to see what it tastes like. Spread the lamb and the veggie onto these gorgeous wraps. And I'm going to stick those in the oven. We've had dinner. That was very lovely. That was a nice and easy Saturday night dinner, that was. I really enjoyed it. Anyway, we are off to play bingo. So come on, let's go. Good morning and welcome to Sunday. Not just any Sunday, no, a sunny Sunday in Devon, in Brixham to be more precise. We've woken up to blue sky and sunshine today and Mr. Warner, can you see him? <laughs> There's a man on a mission. He's up dressed and he's out there. Let's just go and say hello to him. Good morning, Mr. Warner. Did you just check the gutter in? I just put my hand in it and it is quite full, so it's gonna have to come down again. So I've got to do that first before I do the caravan. Okay, obviously... so you're gonna pull the gutter in down, give that a clean, clean and then clean, out, clean. Then wash the caravan. Okay, I will keep you topped up yeah. with hot tea. Okay, 
across with that thing. Right, Mr. Warner's putting that back up. Can you hear the church bells ringing? Sounds lovely. I am just cutting back this bush. It's a bit wildly and out of control, but there's so much new growth on it. Oh man, that is proper green. Mr. Warner's having to really scrub it. Look how filthy it is. All right, let's get back to me pruning. All pruning completed. Let's make Mr. Warner a cup of tea. So the caravan is clean and tidy inside and out. Well done, Mr. Warner. We are now heading down into Brixham. I've booked us a table for Sunday lunch at the bird cage. We're a couple of hours early, so we've got time for a bit of a wander around Brixham. Come on, let's go. Oh, look, the caravan looks so much better now. So here we are in Brixham. Let's go for a little stroll. Well, that was lovely. That really was. We're both full now, so we're going to head back to the caravan. Do you know what it is? Bingo time. Yes, it is. We were so close last night. So close. But we didn't win. So let's go give it another go. As you call it tonight. Mrs. Warner's a winner. She's going to get her winnings. Guess what? I'm a bingo winner. I actually won the full house, but so did someone else. So we did have to share it. But yeah, I'm £26.50 richer. Good morning and welcome to a Monday. There's Mrs. Warner working. Hello. I'm just leaving her to it anyway welcome to monday it's a bit different out the side today it is very windy and very very rainy so inside job state this is what i'm looking to do cupboards in caravans generally or cupboards at home even that come open like this have a little latch system which keeps them open when we first got the caravan they were all broken so this one i had to disconnect so that one doesn't hold itself open anymore and this one it's, it's still there but it's just really stiff but it's all coming apart and it doesn't actually work when i took the wardrobes apart at my mum's the other week i kept all the mechanisms for the top cupboards that open just the same as that to see if i could get any of these to work on these cupboards rather than buying new ones so let's see how we get on reusing screws as well <laughs> Test, run, shut, and then what you do when you open it should lock in like that, just like that, and then when you push it back up, it really shuts just like that, that's what it should do, so that's using second hand stuff rather than buying new. I thought about that when I took that wardrobe apart, you know. So I've just made Mrs Warner a flat bread. That looks amazing. Thank you. This is my one. I've got brie and bacon in mine. I have finished work. I ran an hour over. I just couldn't stop. I was so engrossed in the project I was working on, which was a video for a community litter pick that was held on Saturday. It just looked such an amazing event. So it was lovely to bring all those bits together and create a really lovely video for work. The news is still raining i mean not just a little bit it is absolutely pouring i really do want to get out for a walk today though so i'm hoping it will stop there's nothing else to do so do you know what even though it's only lunchtime, i'm gonna start cooking tonight's dinner i only have 50 minutes left on this audio book it's been such a good listen i've loved it but i thought the story was done 10 minutes ago so i don't know where it's going to go for the next 50 minutes let me tell you about dinner tonight i've got some lamb left after i made those lamb kebabs on saturday night i've got some carrots i've got not a lot else to be honest i was gonna do like a traditional shepherd's pie but 
we don't want to go out for any additional ingredients so i've had a, a look around the fridge and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna give it a middle eastern twist i'm gonna use this harissa paste for seasoning and also i had no potatoes to go on top but i forgot i bought celeriac yeah i was gonna do some celeriac soup but i'm not now i'm gonna make celeriac mash and put it on top so this is a real mishmash and then I don't remember anything. So we've ummed and about what to do today. Now, my default setting would be somewhere for coffee and cake, but I am still trying with my healthy eating, so no cake. Coffee would be okay, though. But I've just washed up our frying pan. It's pretty mullered at the bottom. So... I said to Glenn, how about we use my bingo winnings from last night to buy a new frying pan? So that's what we're going to go and do. Come on, let's go and buy a bit of kitchenware. Are you ready for this? No. There is a super big puddle here to go through. And we're off. Let's go buy a new frying pan. I oh, know, our life, Mr. Warner, is so rock and roll. Some people love spring. It's their favourite season. Me, personally, it's my least favourite season. And I'll tell you why. One day, you get beautiful blue skies and you feel joyful and happy that spring is here and that summer is coming and the good weather and the good times are coming. And then, the very next day, you get this, rain, grey, miserable, cold, and sometimes snow. And, and I don't know where I'm at with it. It confuses me. Gaffs are getting a pound in. They are. It's a pan section. Fantastic area. A fantastic area. <laughs> Frying pan purchase. We were like, should we go for an expensive one or a cheap one? We went cheap. Six quid. It was a bargain. Oh, Guess God. what? It stopped raining. The sea is looking a little bit wild though today. A little bit churny. As my would say, choppy. Choppy. That's what it is. Good morning and welcome to Tuesday. The weather is much better outside today. It's not raining, it's a little bit sunny. It still looks a bit cold and damp, but that's fine. Mrs. Warner, working again. She's working every morning this week, so plan is to go and do something this afternoon. I finally finished work. I just got too carried away. Thank you, Mr. Warner, for waiting for me. It's been like a disco. It's been entertaining me with music. It's been making sure I'm hydrated. It's looked after me well this morning. Anyway, we're heading out now. Come on, let's go. It is a beautiful day today. I mean, compared to yesterday, it's like a whole different season. So we're on our way to Timmouth just for a look around. Glenn's friend Steve has just rang and said there's a place near where we're going called Shaw Shawnham. Shawnham. He said check it out because it's lovely. So we're going to go to Timmouth and on the way back we'll check that place out. So it took us a while to get the right pronunciation for this place because it's spelled like Tyne Mouth, but it's not, it's Tynmouth. Grand old houses here. We have been here before, but we thought it'd be good to have another look around. The sea's right in, isn't it? That's the steps to the beach. Here we go, this is the place that Steve was telling us about, Sheldon. So we are here. There is a pedestrian ferry, but I'm not sure if that's running today. When we leave, we will head over there and go and explore this. Here's the lifeboat station. And this is where the ferry is. We're just gonna go and have a look. This is where the ferry goes from. And that's Sheldon over there. Look how gorgeous this pink building is. Great view there. 
even on a day as grey as today. Look at these grand buildings. Most of them converted into flats now. The Lobster Lounge Bar and Restaurant looks very lovely. I've just bought a beautiful card in the artist shop for Judy and Jim who we stayed with. Lots of little lovely streets and a refill shop. I just stopped and bought some postcards for people that are getting their letters. You can see a bit of the beach here. Sun's come out as well which just transforms the place. A great spot for coffee. Look at that, it looks amazing. So we're going to share the sausage roll and that. Oh, that was so lovely. That really was. It's just starting to spit with rain now. Walking back to the car. This is Timmouth's Lido. Can we see anything? Oh yeah, peek through. Pool's empty. Oh, look at that building. I'd like a holiday apartment there, Mr. Warner. That whole place for sale. Here's a big old pad. Isn't yeah. It? Like a nice house. It'd be a lovely house, wouldn't it? Right, let's go and find this place that Steve was talking about. There's two magnolia trees that we're going past and they are stunning. Right, we've got to go this way. We're going across the bridge. It's a big old river. It is. Here we go. Sheldon and Ringmore. The school's just kicked out. Well, we're in this little car park, it's chaos because the school's just kicked out. There was kids and mums and cars everywhere, but we got a spot. Look at that, mermaid's retreat, that looks amazing. Let's see what we can see. Lots of period buildings down here. Glenn just spotted one that was built 16, what was it Glenn? 1650. Glenn's going to have a look in the estate agent, see what he can see. Look at that place, that's gorgeous. Look at this place here. Look at that gorgeous round window. Village butcher. Sign says, nice things to eat. Glenn, there's a sign that says botanical gardens. Let's follow it. I think it's this way. Oh my goodness. Look at that gorgeous place there. Just look at that. It's idyllic absolutely beautiful chapel built in 1867 bowling green so picturesque the sign says down here for the botanical gardens there's a little zoo here apparently we were just over there just about an hour ago it feels like we've stumbled upon a hidden treasure can you imagine how lovely it would be in the summer to sit out there outside the ferry boat in. There's a sign for the botanical gardens again. We will find those before we leave. This is where you can get the ferry. And we were just over the other side, weren't we? So there's more parking up there, 381 spaces. But it's calm along here in the summer. Yeah, I bet it's very busy along here in the summer. It is a beautiful spot though, isn't it, Glen? I spotted another sign for the botanical gardens. Oh, wow. But Glen has just said, if it's any further up this hill, he's not going. We will come back here and go to the botanical gardens. <laughs> We're weaving through these little narrow lanes, trying to find our way back to the car. And here we are, back at the car park. I do like it here. We're gonna come back and explore Sheldon some more. As we've climbed up, there's an amazing view. You can't see it because there's too many trees in the way, but it's an amazing view. Glenn's got to keep his eyes on the road. Oh, there's some wiggles around this road. Oh, hold on to your seats. Driving through Babacombe on the way back. Hello and welcome to Wednesday. It's quite late in the day, it is. I was working this morning and then this afternoon, I've been video editing. I've sat and done no steps. So I am off for a walk. I'm gonna put my headphones on, gonna to listen to some music. Let's go out and get these legs moving. Oh, I'm not gonna go that way. I'm gonna go this way instead. So I was walking along and I saw this lady doing something with a little bag. And uh, I was a bit like, what's she doing? 
and she's got a bag of like bird seed and on the top of the fence post as she's going along she's creating these little piles for all the birds i'll try and get a shot when i get back if the birds haven't eaten it all but on all the fence posts these little piles of seeds someone's been busy here look at that lots of bird feeders and an arch there glimpse of the sea through there I was just walking along by this amazing garden that we walked past earlier Look who I bump into. What is your name? Alicia. Alicia? Oh, yeah. really, really nice to meet you. What are you doing here? So I want to start little teas and coffees and a little nature corner so people can come in and enjoy it because it was just bike humps and, and dumps. It, 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 was, it was. It was It was just, like an abandoned space. Yeah, wasn't it? and there was so much um, metal and rubbish amongst all the brambles and stuff. So I've, I've cleared all that and gotten rid of the humps and it should be a lot safer oh, and um it's gonna be amazing that's it's it. gonna be amazing and i've got so many more um like rabbits are coming back the squirrels yeah, are coming yeah, yeah. back from down there this looks like a, a mission that you're on but yeah, when, when do yeah. you hope to to get it to I'm, a, a point... I'm a bit of a year behind yeah but um hopefully next year summer I'm hoping to have the little teas and coffees. That'll be so. That'll and, be so amazing. So yeah. amazing, Alicia. It's been so lovely to talk to you. Lovely, thank you. When I next walk past, I, I will. I will oh, keep definitely. everyone up to date yeah. as well. And uh, I and, look forward and, to having a coffee yeah. with you. Oh man, I can't wait for that. Thanks. How lovely was that, Alicia? She's on a real mission. She's done so much work here, and the the fact that she wants to create this community space where people can see it and enjoy nature and have a coffee and a conversation oh that's my sort of thing do you know I was feeling a bit fed up this morning I really was just a bit heavy with the weight of the world's worries I really struggled to get up and get moving today bumping into Alicia there well that was just fantastic meeting people who have that sort of vision and wanting to do something that's like bigger than themselves it just makes me feel happy it really does so my day's turned right round thank you Alicia there's virtually nothing left of all the seed that that lady put on here and on that one as well it's nearly all gone there was little piles of goodness on there and there it's been eaten and here's another one as well. That was like a little mound of seeds. It's nearly all gone. So we are off to bingo again. I forgot to tell you. Guess what happened last night? Mr. Warner won eight quid. I did. I was a bingo winner. I have won twice this week, which I think is actually more than I won the whole season last year. So oh, I'm, the, I'm, other, the other five people playing are already getting the ump. <laughs> to be honest it wasn't very busy there wasn't a lot of people but it don't matter i'm a winner i'm a bingo winner let's go see if we can top it off again this evening if we can make it a hat trick because we're going home tomorrow Ooh. good morning and welcome to thursday it's almost afternoon i've been working this morning and now we have packed up and we're ready to head back to northampton in preparation for Mother's Day. Come on, let's go. And off we go. Our check tire pressure light has just come on. So we're just gonna pull off at the services and check on those. I'm sure it's nothing. I'm sure it's nothing, but better to be safe no, than no, sorry. Really. Right, let's see. That just cost me one pound fifty. Do you remember when it was twenty p? Yeah, twenty p. A lot of places you do it free. Oh no! Our times have changed, Mr. Warner. It's a bit of free air. Yeah. We're back on the way now. Tyres are all fine. So we're about an hour and a half from home. We just decided that we're going to stop for a quick coffee, but we're doing a drive-through. We're not even stopping to get out because Glenn 
wants to get through Oxford and get on the M40 before five, before the traffic gets too bad. We didn't get quite ahead of the curve. A little bit of traffic here, Mr. Warner, but we're not too far from Deb's now. And we have arrived. So this is the flowers that have been put in the van and we need to squeeze a few more in there. This is for Mother's Day, we've got lots of stuff. So tonight's dinner, it's the easiest of easy dinners. Got some sausages, got some beans, got some mash, sausage, beans and mash. Super simple dinner. Debbie has been working hard. As Glenn's just showed you, the van is full. Our friend Zara, her garage is full. There's a lot to be done. Good morning and welcome to Friday. Glenn, you got that Friday feeling? <laughs> he hasn't, he hasn't. And what's more, Deb hasn't either because she's in the garage making flowers for Mother's Day. So, come on, let's go. Let's get this day started. Yeah, that's just So, Mrs. Warner's driving. She's got to drop me off to pick up another little van today. We've got to go to the office. Mrs. Warner's got to work and I've got to do a couple of orders. Mr. Warner is off. I'm staying here because I'm working this morning. I'm working from here. But Glenn is going to go and do flower stuff. I've just finished work and been to the post box. So let's have a look. This one is from Australia. Let's have a look. What have we got here? This is a young Tasmanian devil meets a female common brown butterfly. Look at that. Look at this beautiful bookmark. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, who's this from? Our names are Doris and Jim. And we thank you both very much. We look forward and love watching your weekly vlogs. Oh, thank you, Doris and Jim. That is beautiful. I will read that with joy in a, in a moment. Who's this? this is from the UK. This is from Lancashire. Oh, this is a lovely long letter, this one. Dear Lisa and Glenn, thank you so much for my letter. I really enjoy the anticipation knowing it's on its way. I think this is from Kathy. Let's have a look. It looks like Kathy's writing. It is Kathy. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Kathy. Um, I like to sit down and read all the letters. I'll do that after I've opened them. This one's from my mum. I'll send my mum one of the letters every month as well. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. Love you lots, Mum. Oh, this is from Pam in America. Let's have a look. Oh, I've got so many lovely letters to read. Dear Lisa, Alan and I enjoyed watching you and Glenn explore parts of the US on your vacation stateside. Alan's been working on restoring a vintage motorcycle. Oh, Glenn will love to hear all about that. And this lovely letter. This is from Marion. I know Marion's writing. She's got the neatest handwriting. She said, I was very lucky this last month as I received two letters from you. That my letter from the MGM arrived on the 21st of Feb and your letter from Northampton on the 28th. Oh, I pop up all the time. All the time. Oh, I can't wait to read that, Marion. Thank you. Thank you for all your letters. I love getting them. Right, I am leaving here now. I'm going to go to my mum's and we're going to watch Chloe on the telly at Crofts together. Um, I need to stop and get my mum a Mother's Day present. I brought this candle and I was about to wrap it up last night and I realised I've brought a candle refill. So basically it's, it's just a bit of wax. I'm going to leave that here for now because I haven't got time to go and change it. I'm going to stop at my mum's favourite garden centre en route. Get mum a voucher. She loves a voucher from there because she loves buying plants with it. Oh my goodness, I've come to the garden centre. It's heaving. The car park's full. I had to, go, I had to do a loop round. <laughs> this packaging lovely oh my goodness it was so busy in there good news though managed to get mum this beautiful card love that got some delicious cakes too i mean i know i'm supposed to be eating healthy but you know got a got a delicious cake to share with mum uh what else was i going to tell you 
Um, I can't remember. I forgot to say, also got something for dinner tonight. So, tick, tick, tick. Let's get to mum's. So I've just got to mum's with our delicious cakes. And mum said, uh, do you want a cup of tea? I said, yes, please. Because I've got a decapitated one. No, decaffeinated, not decapitated. It's a whopper, isn't it? It's a whopper. Oh, Crofts is on. We are very excited to cheer on Chloe, Aaron and Moose. Is that them right at the back? Yes. <laughs> On the telly! It's Chloe Chloe! There goes Moose! There's Moose! Oh, oh. This is a practice run. This is a practice run. Don't panic. There's Aaron! Go Aaron! Oh, there's Moose! Come on, Moose! Oh! Oh, he's dropped it! Oh, Moose! Oh! Gutted! Gutted! Right, Moose, come on. Yes, yes, you've done it this time. Oh, come on. Oh, I think the red side's got a fault. Oh, this is going to square things up. Oh, my goodness. I think it's one all. It's one all. It's all on this one. There's Aaron. Right, come on, North Ants Falcons. Come on. There's Moose, Moose, Moose. Yes, Moose, yes. Yes, yes, yes! Oh my goodness, they're in the lead! Oh, oh, I can't even watch! Oh, what happened there? Oh, tails we win, they won. Oh, what a shame, what a shame. Oh, they did so well. So, Mum, that's been an exciting oh, afternoon, exciting. isn't it? It's been very exciting. I'm heading back now and I will see you we next weekend. weekend. On the way back from my mum's, I thought I would stop at the shop to go to Little Tesco's to get some chicken for dinner. The Little Tesco's next to, look at that wall of boxes, next to the shop. I thought I'd pop in, see how they're doing. I couldn't even get in the car park. It was rammed. So I thought I'll park down the little road next to it. Drive down there, not one space. Place was heaving. So I've come back. And I am going to make Deb a cup of tea and then I'm going to walk down the shop to get the chicken for dinner. Did I show you what I brought for dinner? I brought these huge Peshwari naams and I brought some chicken korma and some lovely organic easy cook long grain rice. I just need some chicken to go with it. Before I do that, I'm going to make Deb a cup of tea, as I said. They've been busy. There's, there's busyness being afoot. Oh, yes. It's really starting now, isn't it? There's boxes everywhere. Beautiful flowers. It's going to be busy tomorrow. Right, let's take this tea to Deb. Let me find something to pop you on top of Deb's coffee machine. I'll turn mug. That'll do it. There we go, there we go. So, do you remember a couple of weeks ago, I shared on Facebook, I'm not sure if I mentioned it on the video, but this company, I think it's a charity, would send out boxes of an outfit made from clothes that had been donated. It looked fascinating and I just, I, I was like, I'm in. I think it was around about 20 quid. It's an organisation that does good work. So I thought, I'm in. Said they'd send you, I think it was three or four items. Anyway, my box has arrived. Let's take a look. So if I remember rightly, you had to say your size, colours that you liked, I, and there was a couple of other things as well. As I said, it was a couple of weeks ago. Can't even remember it. But let's have a look what's in the box. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for your order. Enjoy your mystery box. Oh, this is so exciting. This is exciting. So these are my mystery items. Let's have a look. Oh, well, well. So this is a pair of Evans blue collots. I, 
actually like these. I think I've got some of these in my summer wardrobe. So that's great. They're like brand new. Still got a label on. Vest top will go nicely with the blue. I love that colour, by the way. What's this? What's this? It's a dress. And to be honest, I would probably wear it with leggings because that's just me. But look at that. That's actually really lovely. And this one, I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure. It's, it's got tassels. Wow. I don't know quite what to say. That was, that was like a very lovely shopping experience. After Mother's Day chaos has died down, I will try those on and do a proper try on and show you what they look like. So we're just bringing some more flowers in from the garage. Zara's in the garage as well. She's got good floristry skills. Glenn's watching Chloe and Aaron on TV. Dinner's in the oven. Rice is cooked. Deliciousness, deliciousness. And here comes Harry. Where are you, H? There, there he is, there he is. Uh, Beth is here. Beffy, Beffy, can you take that to HE? Thank you. So that was dinner dished up. Harry's gone, Beth's gone, Sarah's gone. Deb's gone back into the garage. She's just got one more tribute that she's uh, doing for somebody. That'll be it for tonight, and that is it for this week. Well, Mr. Warner, that was a good week, wasn't it? It was a, it was a Devon week. Did you enjoy being down the caravan? I did enjoy. Yeah. We did come back a bit early and look, we got all that going on. Mother's Day madness. We just want to say a massive thank you to Molly and Kathy. Thank you. Thank you so much for supporting us. We really appreciate it. We've got some exciting stuff going on next week and we can't wait to share it with you. So, hope you have a great week. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.